Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn about the assembler, linker and loader. So as we know the source code or the actual C code is given to the compiler and then it is passed to the preprocessor. And the preprocessor will produce the pure C code and then it is actually compiled and produces the assembly code. So what is an assembler? An assembler is also a type of compiler and it takes assembly code as the input and translates it into the object code. So the difference between compiler and assembler is that compiler converts source code into assembly code and the assembler converts the assembly code into object code. But the object file might have some unresolved symbols and functions such as printf. That is, here our program has a printf statement. The compiler only verifies whether the printf function follows the correct prototype. It won't bother about actual implementation of printf function, exist or not. So here comes the need of linker. So the linker is a utility program which resolves the unresolved symbols and functions and combines the multiple object files into a single executable file. So this object code is passed to the linker. It will link the actual implementation of printf function code from the runtime library and makes it an executable file. Now suppose the compilation process generates multiple object files. Maybe an unresolved symbol from an object file might reside in another object file. See an example unresolved symbol x in second object file resides in first object file. Here the linker will resolve x by linking it with the first object file. Similarly, it will also link the actual implementation of printf function from the runtime library. Finally, the linker will combine all the object files and generates a single executable file. Now, what if the linker is unable to find the unresolved simple or functions code? Then a linker error will be thrown. So preprocessing, compiling, assembling, linking is done and we got the executable file. Now we need to load it into the random access memory. For that, we need a loader. So when we execute the program, the loader will read the instructions from the executable file and loads it into the random access memory and prepares them for the execution. Finally, CPU initiates the program execution by calling the starting address and the output hello world will be printed on the screen. So let us just quickly revise this whole process. The source code is sent to the preprocessor. Preprocessor makes it the pure C code and then this pure C code is sent to the compiler and the compiler converts it into the assembly code and then the assembly code is sent to the assembler. The assembler takes the assembly code and converts it into the object code and the linker takes the unresolved object code and converts them into an executable file and the loader loads the executable file into main memory and prepares it for execution. So that's all and thank you for watching this video.